archaeology is supposed to hold all the keys to understanding who we are and where we come from. Ironically though, recent archaeological discoveries are so cryptic that as they are being unearthed, they bring to the surface bigger, deeper, unanswerable questions for researchers. From the 700-year-old well-preserved mummy found by Chinese road workers to the startling sleeping beauty of Lulun, here are the 20 most unexplainable recent archaeological discoveries that will leave you in awe. Number 20. The 700-Year-Old Mummy if you don't know, a mummy is a dead animal or human whose internal organs have been preserved, usually for ceremonial reasons. Now, imagine this, you're just going through your daily routine as a road worker, digging up and trying to fix the local roads with your team. As you burrow into the soil, your shovel hits something. It feels like neither gravel or soil. Voila! It's a tomb and inside it, a mummy looking as though she had only just died yesterday. Wait until you learn she's been dead 700 years ago. I bet your legs are wobbling under you right now and your head is fuzzy from the thought. Engineering school doesn't prepare anyone for such mysteries. This was the situation of the Chinese road builders who were trying to expand a road in the city of Taizhou. Randomly came upon the corpse of the high-ranking woman believed to be from the Ming Dynasty the ruling power in China between 1368 and 1644. This is strange because unlike ancient Egyptians, there is no evidence that the Chinese ever intentionally mummified their deceased. Some archaeologists are of the opinion that her preservation could have been accidental. If a wet mummy had the right anaerobic conditions, that is water void of oxygen, it would inhibit bacteria that would normally break down a body. The more bizarre thing about this mummy is that even after 700 years, all her features from head to toe, her eyelashes, hair, face, and skin were still intact. Number 19. The Sleeping Beauty of Lulin Yet another mystic mummy discovery, this time around discovered by Chinese archaeologist Mu Sun Ying and his team of fellow archaeologists around 1980 when a film was being made about the Silk Road. It wasn't exactly mummies, at least not in the traditional Egyptian sense. The Sleeping Beauty of Lulin was dug up with roughly 200 other mummies which collectively came to be known as the Tarim mummies. They were incredibly remarkable because even without an elaborate embalming ritual, they looked far more preserved than the mummies found in the Valley of the Kings in Egypt. Archaeologists say that the mixture of salty soil and natural dryness of the Xinjiang province desert where they lay was the secret. Interesting about the Tarim mummies, also, is the physical looks of the sleeping beauty of Lulan herself. Even at 4,000 years of age, what archaeologists saw was indeed a beauty, tall and stately, with finely carved features. I realized that she was the most beautiful woman on earth. This woman had to have been really stunning while alive to pull this sort of stunt at death. Think of her as whichever Disney World princess you like, but without the fairy tale. Her lice-infested hair was one piece of evidence of her hard life. Her high cheekbones, narrow bridged nose, and auburn hair pointed to a Caucasian origin. What she and her fellow mummies were doing far away from home remains a mystery. Number 18. The First Bull Geoglyph Discovered in Central Asia Basically, a geoglyph is a motif you make by aligning materials such as stones, stone fragments, gravel, or earth on the ground, and typically you can only view it from the air. This bull geoglyph was unearthed as part of a larger early bronze stone burial site near the village of Kondrige in the southwest of the Republic of Tuva, close to Russia's border with Mongolia. It poses as the first of such discovery in that region of Central Asia, and it's in fact their first ever found animal geoglyph. The bull dating back more than 4,000 years ago is 10 by 13 feet of meticulously arranged pebbles and sandstone. Unfortunately, due to road constructions in 1940s, the front region of the bull was destroyed, leaving us only its rear, including the hind legs and tail, which was saved. According to the head of Tuva Archaeological Expedition, Marina Kilinovskaya, the bull motif is very typical of the Central Asia cultures of the early Bronze Era. It was, however, common to find rock engravings of bulls in Tuva and the surrounding areas, but a geoglyph in the form of an animal figure? That was certainly a unique phenomenon. No stone layouts like that had ever been seen in the region. Number 17. Gold Jewelry from Queen Nefertiti Era Found in Tombs in Cyprus this story is set in the year 2018 in the ancient city of Hala Sultan Teke. So one day, the archaeologists from the University of Gothenburg were going about their regular business, excavating tombs, and boom! There is a clattering sound when their pickaxe hits a spot. A sound that did not seem to have come from dry bones. They had struck gold. Literally. Can you imagine how thrilling that must have been? If you're wondering why they even bothered, Hala Sultan Tek is a mosque and tech complex in the capital of Cyprus Larnaca. 
Built on one of the largest Bronze Age archaeological sites, the gold jewelries were from 3,000 years ago dating back to the era of Queen Nefertiti's reign in Egypt. A pure gold necklace in the shape of a lotus flower with inlaid gemstones, similar to the jewelry worn by the ancient Egyptian queen of the 18th dynasty, was found. This could be evidence of the extensive trade of those in Cyprus with Egypt. Skeletons and funerary objects were also found. One of the skeletons belonging to a five-year-old boy also had a solid gold crown to suggest his elite background. Who knows what else in the earth Cyprus is hiding from us? Number 16. Folded Iron Sword Found in Roman Soldier's Grave A three-aisled Paleo-Christian basilica dating from the 5th century was discovered in 2010. During an excavation ahead of the construction of a subway track, the basilica was built over an even older place of worship, a 4th century chapel, which had long been abandoned since the 8th century. During recent excavations, archaeologists found seven graves that had been sealed inside. None of them were interesting except one. It was an arch-shaped grave containing the remains of an individual who had been buried with weapons, including a bent spatha, a type of long, straight sword from the late Roman period, AD 250-450. Considering the weapon and also the place of burial, archaeologists could point to the individual as a high-ranking Roman soldier. The discovery of this 1600-year-old iron-folded sword was interesting because the soldier was buried in an early church, but folded swords were part of a well-known Roman pagan ritual. This could only mean one thing. Although this Roman soldier had embraced the Roman way of life and the Christian religion, he hadn't abandoned his roots. Number 15. Nazca Lines Despite being studied for eight decades now, the Nazca Lines remain a mystery to researchers such that in 1994, UNESCO designated it a World Heritage Site. These lines are a collection of giant geoglyphs, designs or motifs etched into the ground from lasting elements of landscape, created by the ancient Nazca culture in South America. It is located in the Peruvian coastal plain which is about 250 miles 400 kilometers, south of Lima, Peru. The Nazca lines are basically of three types, straight lines, geometric designs, and pictorial representations. There are more than 800 straight lines on the coastal plain, some of which are 30 miles 48 kilometers long. The geometric designs, which include basic shapes such as triangles, rectangles, and trapezoids, as well as spirals, arrows, zigzags, and wavy lines are over 300 in number. The Nazca lines are perhaps best known for their pictorial representations of about 70 animals and plants, some of which measure up to 1,200 feet 370 meters long. You can find a spider, hummingbird, cactus plant, monkey, whale, llama, duck, flowered, lizard, and dog. But to appreciate it, just like every other geoglyph, you'd have to view it from the air. Number 14. 1500-year-old Viking sword found in Swedish lake. Some treasures require archaeologists digging, toiling, and doing a lot of investigations. They just take their time to be discovered. Some others, like this one, just come to us in the most casual, unplanned way. This prize piece could have gone uncovered if not for 8-year-old Saga Vanacek who recently stumbled upon it while swimming in Sweden's Vidostern Lake on a family holiday. Saga says the sword had felt like a stick, and just like we would expect of any little child, she had nearly tossed it aside. We can only glad she changed her mind, though, and decided to pull it out. According to the archaeologists who received it, the weapon was from the pre-Vikings era and dates to 1500 years old. They assume that it most likely gotten closer to the surface due to a drought that kept the lake water low. The antique is now being kept at the Jonkopings Lands Museum near the lake, where officials note it's extremely well preserved. Currently, further investigations of the lake are underway to see if any other ancient pieces can be dug up. Can you imagine what next might be found? The skull of a water dinosaur? Who knows? Our universe is full of treasures. Number 13. Terracotta Army – The Greatest Archaeological Find of the 20th Century on March 29, 1974, archaeologist Zhao Kangman had got a call to examine some relics the local people came upon in Litong County, outside Xi'an, Shanxi, China. The local farmers were, in their desperation to get water during drought, digging about a meter down when they struck hard red earth. Underneath, they found life-size pottery heads and several bronze arrowheads, which would turn out to be one of the most stunning archaeological finds in the 20th century. When Zhao Kangmin put the shards and pieces together, it made a terracotta army. It was a collection of terracotta sculptures depicting the armies of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. 
This represented a form of funerary art buried with the emperor in 210-209 BCE with the purpose of protecting the emperor in his afterlife. The terracotta army is estimated at 8,000 strong, crafted on an industrial scale 2,200 years earlier to defend the emperor in the afterlife. The warriors were life-size, with most about 2 meters 6 feet tall, and stood in full battle formation. The sculptures weigh up to 272 kilograms, 600 pounds each. Each warrior has unique characteristics, facial features, hairstyle, clothing, and pose. In recent years, exhibitions are hosted featuring a small number of the terracotta warriors. You would definitely want to see this antique. Number 12. The Staffordshire Hoard, the largest collection of Anglo-Saxon gold and silver ever. A hoard is the archaeological term for a collection of artifacts or valuable objects, sometimes purposely hidden away underneath the earth. One that has captured the imagination of an international audience is the Staffordshire Hoard, which is by far the largest collection of Anglo-Saxon gold and silver ever discovered. It was dug up on July 5, 2009 in a field near the village of Hammerwick, near Lickfield in Staffordshire. Programs for exhibitions, touring, and of course for the conservation. It consists of more than 600 significant objects found in 4,600 fragments of mainly war gear, which combined to a total of nearly 4 kilos of gold, 1.7 kilos of silver, and thousands of cloisonne garnets. Although they were fragmented when found, there is nothing in terms of content and quantity comparable in the UK or mainland Europe. Who do you think would have owned and buried such a massive treasure? Maybe it was a ransom to some king, or maybe it belonged to an elite or war loots. This is the profound mystery of the Horde of Staffordshire, and sadly one that only the owner can unravel. Number 11. Discovery of the Lascaux Cave Paintings Four teenagers who had followed their dog down a narrow entrance into a cavern stumbled on a collection of prehistoric cave paintings near Montenegro, France, which became known as the Lascaux Cave Paintings. The paintings, dating back some 15,000 to 17,000 years, serve as a fine example of art from the Upper Paleolithic period. The cave consists of a main cavern 66 feet wide and 16 feet high, with its walls decorated with some 600 painted and drawn animals and symbols and nearly 1,500 engravings. The pictures depict in excellent detail numerous types of animals, including horses, a red deer, stags, felines, and what appears to be mythical creatures, but only one human figure, which you might find weird, a bird-headed man with an erect phallus. It is believed that the cave was used over a long period of time as a center for hunting and religious rites. The Lascaux Grotto has been closed from the public because artificial lights had faded the vivid colors of the paintings and caused algae to grow over some of them. A replica is, however, in place and received tens of thousands of visitors annually. Number 10. Darren Kuyu Underground City The Darren Kuyu Underground City is the largest excavated underground city in Turkey. A little backstory to usher in this mystery. Sometimes fate just chooses you and there's nothing you can do about it. This was true in the case of this man, who during a routine home renovation discovered something that would leave archaeologists in awe. The man had started off with a plan to expand his house to accommodate his growing family, but when he knocked down the wall of his basement to begin his expansion, he found what was an ancient secret that had been hidden for centuries. The Darren Kuyu underground city had just laid beneath the innocent man's house, waiting to be rediscovered. The city, extending to a depth of approximately 85 meters, 279 feet, is so large that it could have sheltered as many as 20,000 people, together with their livestock and food stores. The city of Darren Kuyu was said to have been fully formed in the Byzantine era, when it was heavily used as protection from Muslim Arabs during the Arab-Byzantine Wars between 780 and 1180 ED. More intriguing is this city's connection with other underground cities through many kilometers of tunnels. Number 9. Roman Mosaic Floor Found Under Italian Vineyard after decades of searching, archaeologists conducting excavations at a vineyard in northern Italy have unearthed a well-preserved Roman mosaic floor. Scholars had first found traces of the ancient residence in a hilly area above the town of Negrar di Valpolicella, near Verona, in 1922. This multicolored, tasteful geometric design is believed to date back to the 3rd century AD. Its intricately patterned tiles, which once formed part of the foundation of a Roman villa, were discovered just a few meters below the vineyard surface. How did it take a century to unravel a cultural treasure that was right beneath our feet? We don't know the extent of this ancient villa yet, as technicians are still gently excavating the site. The pandemic had also played a role in delaying their work. 
To make it become more available and accessible, the researchers will have to collaborate with the government and the vineyard's owners. The process will likely require both significant time and resources. Whatever it takes, this is a discovery that needs to be appreciated and enhanced. Number 8. 180 million year old dinosaur fossils found in southwest China. Can you try to wrap your head around 180 million years? We're talking about hundreds of thousands of years ago. That's so much time. Anything from then should probably have vanished into thin air. However, fossils from that far back have just been discovered in a county-level city in the Yunnan province of southwest China. According to paleontologists, the skeleton which was buried in a soil layer dating back to 180 million years ago belonged to 8 meters long Lufangosaurus. Lufangosaurus is a dinosaur that lived in the early Jurassic period in what is now called Southwest China. It's actually a real one unlike you know who, Barney. Meanwhile, it's funny that some people still don't believe dinosaurs ever existed. Anyways, this Jurassic era fossil is such a rare find seeing that it was found almost 70% intact. They have been identified by Chinese paleontologists as Lufangosaurus magnus and Lufangosaurus huanai. The Lufangosaurus magnus fossil is more than 5 meters long with three sacral vertebrae, 13 dorsal vertebrae, 22 cosageal vertebrae, and complete hind legs, it is estimated to be 9 meters long in full length. The other fossil, Huenai, was just found 500 meters away. It features two preserved shanks, two dorsal vertebrae, and two cosageal vertebrae. More shocking discoveries might be made if archaeologists manage to successfully excavate the fossil's head bones. Let us watch and see! Number 7. Antikythera Shipwreck Treasures Ever heard of the Antikythera shipwreck? I could get a yes if you're familiar with the television program Diving for Roman Plunder. The Antikythera shipwreck was the first of a series of ancient shipwrecks to be identified in the eastern Mediterranean over the course of the 20th century. It was discovered in the spring of 1900 by sponge divers working off the northeast coast of the Greek island of Antikythera. One of the divers had found the wreck at depths reported between 40 and 50 meters. It was the remains of wooden planking from the hull of an ancient freighter and an impressive array of objects that never made it to their intended destination. Later on, in November of that year, the site was excavated to reveal a wealth of discoveries which included three life-size marble horses, jewelry, glassware, coins, and hundreds of works of art, including a seven-foot-tall colossus statue of Hercules. More than 70 years later, when Jacques Cousteau, a French explorer, and his team was invited to explore the wreck, they recovered hundreds more artifacts plus the remains of four people. The Antikythera shipwreck treasures are today housed in Greece's National Archaeological Museum in Athens. The thoughts of what more is left undiscovered in the ancient shipwreck has accelerated the discipline of underwater archaeology. Who knows? Number 6. Greece Finds Nico, a noblewoman buried in her jewelry 1800 years ago. This is a feat for the Greek archaeologists. A monument, one of the Aegean's most impressive, has got an identity. Her name, according to a burial inscription, was Nico. The ancient noblewoman was buried with her golden jewelry at a Roman burial monument in the island of Sykinos, and her grave has just been discovered intact. Despite attacks by grave robbers in ancient times and the building's various uses through the centuries, because it was well hidden in a blind spot between two walls at the basement of the building. The box-shaped grave was found in the vault of the Episcopi Monument, a rare burial memorial of the Roman era, which was later turned into a Byzantine church and monastery. The well-preserved mausoleum on the tiny island in the Cycladic group southeast of Athens was likely to have been constructed to shelter the grave. Golden wristbands, rings, a long golden necklace, a female figure carved cameo buckle, glass, and metal vases and fragments of the dead woman's clothes were found in the grave. This is just the tip of the iceberg because it is still a mystery who Nico really was as she doesn't seem to have come from the island. Number 5. Mysterious Shackled Skeletons Found in Ancient Greek Mass Grave 80 skeletons lying in a mass grave in an ancient Greek cemetery, their wrists clamped by iron shackles leaves you to your imagination as to what must have transpired in the lives of the individual. Some lay in a long neat row in the dugout sandy ground, others piled on top of each other, arms and legs twisted with their jaws hanging open. Archaeologists say that most of them must have been very young and healthy when they are executed. They had been buried in what looked like a respectable manner, so they couldn't have been criminals. It must have been a mass execution considering the similar matter in which they were all killed. This discovery was found earlier in this year in part of the Faluron Delta necropolis. 
a large ancient cemetery unearthed during the construction of a national opera house and library between downtown Athens and the port of Piraeus. Who they were, how they got there, and why they appear to have been buried with some measure of respect is a mystery that might soon be unraveled. Number 4. Oldest Cave Art Found in Sulawesi, Indonesia a picture has been found in the Liang Tadongi Cave in a remote valley on the island of Sulawesi. Archaeologists identified as the world's oldest known animal cave painting in Indonesia. The wild pig, believed to be drawn 45,500 years ago, provides the earliest evidence of human settlement of that region. Until recently, archaeologists widely believed that Europeans first created figurative art that recorded impressions of the world. But if this dating is correct, we could be looking at the earliest known example of figurative art. The art was created when painters illustrated objects from the real world rather than simply abstract patterns and designs. As the Sulawesi warty pig is a wild boar endemic to this Indonesian island, it appears to be a part of a narrative scene that is surrounded by several other incomplete pig figures. The accuracy of the date of this depiction is a scholarly debate due to the nature of materials the painting of the life-size picture of the Sulawesi warty pig was made with. It defied dating, but the team of the Griffith University archaeologists that shared this discovery had used a special technique to age mineral deposits that formed over parts of the pig to arrive at 45,500 years. There is a chance the painting is older than the date, though. Number 3. Atacama Skeleton Ada is the common name given to the skeletal remains of a human fetus found in 2003 in a deserted Chilean town in the Atacama Desert. The 6-inch, 15-centimeter long skeletal remains were found by Oscar Munoz, who later sold them. The current owner is Ramon Navia Osorio, a Spanish businessman. You're not shocked someone is sending a fortune on an artifact, are you? Anyways, there has been unfounded speculations by UFO theorists that Ada is an extraterrestrial, which led to its inclusion in the 2013 UFO movie Sirius. You'd know if you're into that kind of scary thing. However, these claims have been debunked by the results of the DNA analysis Stanford University geneticist Gary P. Nolan produced. It proved the skeleton to be human and not of extraterrestrial origin. Good riddance to the alien invasion stories. Further DNA analysis done in 2018 on the premature human fetus identified unusual mutations associated with dwarfism and scoliosis, though these findings were later disputed. So far, researchers have identified 64 unusual mutations and 7 genes linked to the skeletal system of this Atacama skeleton. And they noted that finding so many mutations that specifically affect skeletal development has never been reported before. What could this mean? Only time will tell. Number 2. 9.7 million year old teeth discovered in Germany If you've had to visit the dentist before, you'd know that the teeth are really delicate. That's why dentists would advise that you take extra care of them. But there's something they don't tell you. Nature is the best preserver of anything. If anyone ever told you that a tooth could last for a century without decay, would you believe them? In 2017, a team of archaeologists in southwestern Germany discovered two teeth at the spot where the river Rhine used to flow, in a town called Eppelsheim. What is most striking about these discoveries is that both teeth are 9.7 million years old. Can you believe that? They're even as old as dinosaurs! So what if the teeth belong to an ape? It doesn't change anything. They're still mammals, and teeth shouldn't be able to stay for that long. They had changed color from white to amber, as they were expected to, but they were still in perfect condition. According to Professor Herbert Lutz, the head of the archaeological team, those pairs of teeth were as good as new. Would you look at that? A pair of teeth that had never seen a dentist's pen light, 9.7 million years of age, and still looked good as new. These pairs of teeth aren't probably just the oldest teeth in the world, but they're probably also the most important because according to Professor Herbert Lutz, they contained information that could topple our initial understanding of earliest history. Number 1. Miraculously Well-Preserved Ceremonial Chariot Found at Villa Outside of Pompeii Say you were asked if you ever seen a chariot, what would be your response? The most any of us have ever seen are the ones used in movies, not the actual thing that stood in for cars back in the day. Yet, history presents us with a truly remarkable opportunity. A well-preserved ceremonial chariot unearthed from the rubble of Pompeii. If you haven't heard of Pompeii, then you must have at least seen the movie. The unlucky city was buried by a volcanic eruption in the 79 AD. 
but quite miraculously, preserved some things rather than obliterated from existence. One of them was the ceremonial four-wheeled chariot discovered in 2018. It was used back in the day for weddings, parades, and festivals. Archaeological experts were surprised by the state of the chariot. 79 AD is a long time for anything to survive, even a piece of metal. But this one took on time in a game of chess, and nicked the checkmate at the end. The chariot was complete with its armrests and backrests, iron wheels, ornate, bronze, and tin decorations, and ropes. The team had to take extra care excavating it because even though it defied time, it was still worse for the wear. It's obvious that the world is teeming with a boatload of discoveries waiting to be uncovered, and it begs the question of how much we know the world we live in. Check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time, now. See you next time.